there's some amazing statistics in here, actually. Um, another, another kid that I've had the privilege of coaching since he was in the sixth grade. And actually, I found a picture of our team in 2008 that had, okay, a lot of the guys, some of the guys sitting here, I didn't even recognize him. Actually. He tagged me. He's upset. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't recognize him. I actually did not recognize him. I didn't actually recognize who he was. He was a little guy. In sixth grade, he was so little, it was unbelievable. I didn't even recognize him. I put this picture on Facebook and tagged the guys in it, and he let me know about it. It was great. Um, he, uh, uh, every single year that we play, he's just a consistent part of uh, what we try to do. Okay? He's always a big part of the offense. He's always a really big part of the defense. He always is. Um, he is a, a true team leader. He was voted as captain this year, rightly so. Okay? He leads by example. Uh, he was more of a verbal leader this year, too. Um, I know that was a real surprise to us, which I was happy for. There's a lot of times you could hear him talking to the team. Okay? Um, he's always a step ahead. Okay, I hear Coach Eggerbrot talking to him, and he, he's always a step ahead in the defense. He knows, okay, what we're trying to do. He knows the scenario. All right? um, he pretty much is one of the most fearless football players I've ever had the opportunity to coach. He tackled a 250-pound running back this year, last year. Every time we're in a game, he doesn't think he just plays. And given his size, that's pretty impressive, OK? Um, he doesn't usually make mistakes. The coaches consistently talk every week. I will never forget. We we're always talking, where did he come from on that play? How did he know that you know a tight end on the other side of the field goes out and the linebacker that's supposed to cover him forgets it? And he's on the other side of the field and he sees it and he goes and covers it. Um, not what he's supposed to do, but what he does. You know, it's just instincts. It's it's really kind of a, a God-given thing. It really is. It's tough to coach that. You know, you really have that you don't. Okay? And he has it. He always really has. He's our best blitzer. Um, our best punt rusher, for sure. I mean, uh, one of the plays that, that Coach threw up here, I remember this year we had a fourth and short against White River here. And it was fourth and one midfield. They're going for it. And they run the ball. Pauly comes up to make the tackle. The guy slips it. John comes from the other side of the field and makes the tackle for a loss. You know, he had to come from the other side of the field to make it. He made many, many plays like that all year long. You know, It was uh, a little bit mind-boggling when you see it on tape. Many times throughout the season, 11.30, midnight, you know, I'm watching film. Uh, I get a text message from him. Coach, check out playing number such and such in this film. Oh, he still loves studying. No, okay, so, you know, many, many, many times, right? And that speaks, young guys, okay, that speaks to where you guys, where you are now, where you will be when you prepare yourself, right? Typically, you play it, right? When you prepare it up here, you're going to play it on the field, okay? And he always did that. Um, 310 yards rushing this year, four touchdowns. He had 330 yards receiving, three receiving touchdowns. Now, I think that this is a school record because I think the record in the past for tackles was set by Eli. And I think that it was 100. But he had 111 tackles this year. Mm -hmm. Now that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now just so you know, Coach Eggerbrotten had to go back through the films on these stats because we, Coach Eggerbrotten used to be our stat guy. And so, since he's been coaching, it's been a challenge for us to get good stats. So he went back through the films to count rushing yards, receiving yards, tackles. So this is what you see on film. So 111 tackles is, uh, in high school football is unheard of. Uh, he was everywhere on the defense. I mean, he really was. He was everywhere. Um, he probably has. I, I, I can think of some great players we've had in years past here, OK? Um, when it comes to instincts, he probably has some of the best, okay? He had three sacks, two fumbles caused, three fumble recoveries, passes defended, two interceptions. Um, I think of a defensive MVP 